Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Link, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Where am I? Okay, I remember. I need to go see Mr. Um. Uh, I should be able to. Oh wow, this thing respawned. Are you serious? Nice. That's good to know that that does that. I wonder if it's like a 24 hour period or something. Uh, I actually really don't know. I think I have to go up here, right? Get this. Uh, is there a Bokoblin over here? No, there isn't. Okay, so it's still dead. That's good. Let's grab this. Continue upward. Yet the trees respawn. That's odd. No, uh, Octoroks either, it looks like. Those things are called Octoroks in this game still, right? Like, there's still Octoroks. Hey. Whee! So all my fellow Kikwis are well, and they want to me to stop worrying. <laughs> Excellent. They know me too well. You have a real talent for finding whatever is missing, Kui. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my thanks. Quee! <laughs> I feel much less worried now. I believe I just remembered where that young lady went. That young girl. Zelda was her name. Yes, it's all coming back to me. She said she had to travel to the temple deep within these woods, Quee! Oh, I tried to warn her about how dangerous it was there, but the clever little thing vaulted off my belly and ran off on her own just the same. She vaulted off your belly? Excuse me? So Zelda's pretty athletic, jeez. Okay. I think she headed down that way, towards the temple, Queen. But be sure to take great care if you follow her. That area is crawling with monsters. Oh, I almost forgot, Kui. As reward for finding all my fellow Kikwis, I will give you a precious Kikwi heirloom. Let me just fetch it for you now, Kui. Pardon me a moment. Baby. We got our slingshot. Very nice. Okay. So now... Oh, come on. With that slick shot, Queen, you should be able to find a path into the deep woods where that temple is. To start, why not try shooting that curled up vine over there? Hold ZR to ready your slingshot, Kui, then release and let a shot fly. If you've run out of any ammunition, just grab some seeds from the fruit that grow on the trees over there. Now go find that girl. I'll be rooting for you, Kui. Alrighty then. I forget that I just have to tap it. There we go. So I did turn off gyro controls. Uh, I've never really... Wait, ha have I? Yes, I have. Okay, very good. I never really liked gyro controls. Gyro controls has never really been my thing. Um, I prefer to just aim regularly with a stick. Um, that doesn't tell you of how I play video games. I don't know what will. Uh, is it over this way? Hello? Oh, I see you there. I see you. <laughs> Get dunked on. I honestly thought I was going to lose some durability there because I didn't think I did, uh, did it well enough. There's a um, little thing here that we can crawl into. Of course, you can use your speed to really get through there. And, of course, you can just... Oh, come on. Really, Link? Let's try that again. Oh! Well... I didn't know I could just walk up to it and catch it, but I'll take it. And seats. Those are, um, ammunition for our slingshot. Basically important stuff. Um, 
We need to make it into the deep woods, so over this way. Why is this thing sparkling? That's weird. Okay, onward. Is that pushed up? Yes, it is. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we should have, I think, an enemy here. Right here, look at this guy. Over. Bokoblins shouldn't be any problem to anybody that's played this game before. I mean, I can see how they could kind of be a problem on the Wii version, because... Motion controls can be and are finicky. Master, I highly just suggest you save the progress of your quest before you set out for the temple deep within the woods in pursuit of Zelda. Yeah, well, guess what, Fee? Um... Fi, I don't care, and I can't do that just in case something goes wrong with the recording, as I've said multiple times at this point. What? Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. There we go. Do you have to climb up, or can we just swing? Can we? Come on, Link. Grab it. There! Pretty sure this is not how you're meant to grab things like that, but okay. Hop! There we go. And we continue. So this is the deep woods, right? As is, is, is what they call it, right? The deep woods, yeah. Ugh. Man, I don't know. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but I love me some forested areas. I've always I, I like the color green a lot. So, not my favorite color. I'm not even sure what my favorite color really is. I would probably maybe say red. I would think maybe. That is the first and probably last time you'll ever see us use that. Because most of the time we'll just be taking keep people out like that. Oh. I'm a maniac. Oh! Leave me alone! Ow! Get out of here! Leave me alone. Get out. Thank you. Now, what? Where is it? Did it disappear? Oh, come on. Really? That was a waste of time. Shoot. Okay. I like how there's also, like, different colored patches of grass. I like that. Hey, look. Another one. Bye. Oh, for God's sake. Really? I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Because if not, it's gonna become a problem. Can you guys leave me alone, please? For the love of God, please? Thank you. Alright. We have to balance ourselves on this thing. Which I'm doing a very good job of at the current moment. Oh. Oh, as soon as I open my mouth. Me and my big mouth. Hey, there we go. Come on, Link. It's up here. Hold on, I want to fight this guy first. Because I can. Hey, buddy! So, fun fact! Skyward Strikes do actually deal damage. Um, They don't deal a lot of damage at the current moment. But... Ah. Uh, huh. I guess shields really are useless, huh? <laughs> what the heck, dude? What is over there? It's a it's a it's a thing. Hold on. Um okay, let's go grab that really quick. Okay. Come on, Link. Come on, there you go, bud. Come on. There you go. Good job, Link. All right. Now we have to do this as well. Oh, 
Shoot. Get up there, Link. I've fallen down quite a few times on this one. Then again, this, this one's a lot more... Come on, Link. Come on, dude. For God's sake. Why didn't that explode? You know what? I probably could have just shot those things off. I'm an idiot. Oh, come on. Really? Seriously? Oh, nice. <gasps> Nobody saw anything there. Nothing happened. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. Get dunked on. Are they still called Deku Babas in this game? Are they? I really don't even know. So I'm, I'm touching the... Like, I'm just, like... Hitting A with those things there, just in case. I want to make sure that I not, like, don't meh, hiss anything. Oh my god, I thought I was going to fall there. That would not have been fun. Oh, shoot. Shields can be useful, though. That is true. Shields can be... And are very useful. More money. Very nice. Money is always great to have. Now there's a face I know. Hey, bud. How you doing, dude? I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here. I stumbled onto one of these things just now. And it looks like something I have seen in those ancient texts. If I remember right, yup, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up a name for these things. I've been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Uh, Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you what do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Let's do it, dude. Hey, thanks a billion, bud. This cube is made of some sort of metal I have never seen. I've wa wailed on it, but nothing happens. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking the egg is th that one line, you know? The light from a heavenly blade. Yeah, I got that. Watch this. You can also do, uh, little stabs. <laughs> There's so many different ways you can use Skyward Strikes. It's honestly pretty cool. Whoa! Did you see that? That cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing you shot out of your sword. And where do you think the cube shot off to? Anyhow, this mystery just got a whole, whole lot more, uh, mysterious. The texts say there are cubes like that one all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of these cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Dude, you know what I just remembered? I just remembered that there's a glitch in this game. Uh, I'm not specifically sure how the glitch ex exactly works. But if I remember correctly, it's that... um. During a certain quest later on, a quest line later on in the game, if you talk to a Goron after doing something specific, or you need to do something in like a very specific order for the glitch to, to activate, um, it basically corrupts your save and you have to start from the beginning. Uh, we will not be doing that, hopefully. Because um, if that happens, that would absolutely suck. So I prefer not to do that. Um... Uh, it's mostly just like a quest that like depends on how you do something very specific. Um, so I would just take like the regular route instead of going for a specific one first. That would definitely mess up the save. 
There we go. And perfect. Oh man, I just remembered the uh, the Nintendo Land Zelda game on that. Oh man, the Wii U had some really good games in Nintendo Land. Or yeah, that's what it was called, right? Nintendo Land. Hold on. Yeah, Nintendo Land. Man, that thing was so fun. The games on that thing were really fun, man. Like, seriously. No need to be that fun, but they were. Oh, you know what? I could have just rolled this down the first time. and Oh, my God. I feel like an idiot. Oh, wow. So it looks like we're actually going to get into our first dungeon today. Um, and we might as well go ahead and beat it. Because I don't think... It, I don't remember this one being too long. Uh, hopefully I don't seem like an idiot at any point and completely mess this up. But at the current moment, we moose, moose, meese, we most definitely do not need, uh, anything for help, like, at all at the current moment. Uh, also, uh, I, I just know this is here. I believe there's actually, like, a little riddle that helps you find that specific little thing so you can get into the dungeon. But, um, I don't even need to find the riddle anymore because I just know that that's there. First dungeon, here we go. I don't even remember the name of this dungeon. What is this place called? Skyview Temple. That's what it's called. It's actually a pretty cool dungeon. I actually quite like the item that you get out of this, too. Because it's a very unique Zelda item that you definitely don't see anything like it. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I cannot isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should move next. Don't tell me how to work a dungeon, lady. I know how, to, how this works. I mean, yeah, we're only 17 minutes into this. We could probably pull off this dungeon, no problem. Come on, man. I thought I cut that enough. Okay, so there's really nothing here. Oh, so hey, we can keep, we can take out Keese in one hit now. That's good. <laughs> there's certainly one way of doing it. Um, uh... <laughs> yeah. Let's not waste any slingshot shots. So Skyward Sword actually, I think, works slightly different than most Zelda games because it's not just, hey, yeah, get your dungeon item and continue. Usually it's something where it's like, you get an item to get into the dungeon, and then you get a dungeon item. That is so much easier to pull off on the freaking Switch version. Dude, the HD version really just made this game a lot easier to play and a lot funner to play. You have to deal with a lot less in this game. What, is this telling you? Who descended from the sky lent your ear to the wise wish the servant who brought you from the firm soil? Huh? Lend your ear to the wise voice of the certain servant who brought you to the firm soil. I was gonna ask, so basically listen to Fee. Fi. Fi Fi Fo Fun. Oh, that was not funny. That was not funny at all. That was really stupid. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here! Alright. Another problem here. Oh my god. He took four hits. That's surprising. Okay, so you can't go that way. Can't go... Oh, hold on. Hold... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Right. This is... This is how this dungeon works. 
Oh boy, that's fun. Uh, is there anything actually up here? Shortcut. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Stop moving. Thank you. Okay, Monster Claw. You need a lot of those, pretty much. So this just creates a little shortcut for you. Like, literally just a very, very small one. And, uh... There we go. So there's a lot of switches in this dungeon. And I believe the whole goal is to kind of raise the water level. Or rather, flood the main room, I guess, would be the better way of saying it. Oh, also, um, I'm sorry if you have a fear of spiders, but there's nothing I can really do about this. Hello? Ow. Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. One is above, one is below. Oh, there's totally something there, dude. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go to below first. Uh... Huh. All right. So it seems that I have forgotten how this dungeon works. Um, yeah, that's a problem. Oh, okay. Dude, that looks so small. It doesn't even fit, look like Link could actually fit in there. Alrighty then. So yeah, that's really kind of like the goal here. To get that water level up. And the further that goes up, the better. Uh, I can't make it to the other side yet. We need to bring the water level up a little bit more. The left and the right one is above and below. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, well, wait a minute. I can't dash in water at the current moment, which kind of sucks, but nothing much I can do about that. There's nothing I can really do about that. Well, that certainly is a predicament, isn't it? Because I don't think I can pull that out. When I'm underwater. So I'm gonna have to find, like, somewhere else to go for the moment. Because I can stand here, but I can't go there. It's the problem. And I can't, I most certainly cannot use this while I'm in water. Actually, wait a minute. Can I actually just. Oh, God, I feel like an idiot sometimes. I swear to God, everything seems like there's certain things in this game that feel like you shouldn't be able to fit there, but you can. Like, certain things look a lot smaller than they actually are. Uh, now I feel like an idiot. Okay, anyway. So that should mean there should be another thing in here to hit to... 
Make the water level go back up. There we go. Get dunked on, kid. Why is it like... Ow. Oh, I see. I see. For God's sake, Link. Why do you have to make this so difficult? Oh my god. There we go, I think I got it lined up. Oh, boy. Oh, just barely. Whoo! Get dunked on. Welcome to Hide to Play the Legend of Zelda. My god. Get out of here, you freaking spider. I freaking hate spiders. I, I hate them, but I'm not afraid of them. Well, unless they're poisonous, in which case... In a room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find a temple map. Gaze upon that map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must strike another gemstone to reveal the path. For God's sake, what? Yeah. I don't even know how I knew that one. I think I, I was just like... I swung across and I was like, uh, you know what? There should definitely be something in here that, that, that like tells you, hey, there's a gemstone in here. Probably a good idea to look for it. They definitely don't tell you that, and I'll tell you that much. I don't even know how I figured that out on my first try. Oh, wait a minute. Does the freaking map tell you the gemstone there is there? <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> it does! Okay. Master, I have information for you. You have obtained a map of this area. You can view it by pressing minus. The position of doors and their locks, as well as the position and status of treasure chests, can be confirmed on the map with marks such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use be beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. So wow, yeah, it really does tell you that there is one right there, huh? I guess you need the map to tell you that. If, if, if you didn't see, like, the freaking hole in the wall while you're swinging... Because that's how I saw it just there. While I was swinging, I saw the hole and I was like, there's going to be something here. Watch. Just so happens I was right. That's what you get for playing Zelda for your entire life. You just see stuff like that sometimes and you're like, yeah. That's exactly where I'm meant to go. Okay. Now then. Uh, that means I need... Hold on. There we go. Oh, come on, Link. Seriously? What was that, mate? Oh, what the frick was that? Man, I really wish I could swim faster. Oh, gosh, that's annoying. There we go. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, God. Should have taken care of that spider first. That could have been bad. Gotcha. Okay. Heart. Very good. That's useful. Now we go all the way around, basically. Ow. There we go. Okay, now I have to... There we go. 
Can't believe I got hit by that spider. You know what? I could probably use my shield on that, but... Link. I think this should be the small key. Yup. Bingo. Alright then. Okay. Just walk down here and uh, right there and then right over here and then we go over here and then the jump and another jump and uh, grab the ledge and open the door. Open the door! Okay, second area. Okay, so yeah, this dungeon basically has two main areas in it. Okay. Perfect. We have a bo uh, uh, basically a mini boss here, basically, is what this is. Nothing too difficult. To Stalfos. Shoot, Jesus Christ. Oh, shoot. <laughs> It's really simple. I would say a lot easier and faster to take out than the than the ones in some of the other games. That's I, I think that's like You definitely don't even have to move around that much when you're fighting that guy. I mean backflip every now and then when he strikes at you, but other than that. You have acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's instant like profile and wings indicates it can fly. After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to smaller smaller objects. Press ZR to ready the device for takeoff and press right to learn about its operation. Okay, so we got our thing of a bobber here. Our thing of a bobber. Whoa! There we go. So, of course, the beetle is actually a really cool item, in my opinion. It's probably one of my favorite Zelda items. Uh, or, this is definitely one of my favorite items in this game. It's just a really creative item. Um, get out of here. So, with this, we can actually take out these... Um, these spiders that are here. We can drop them, rather. We can also go looking for stuff. Like this. Booyah! It's gonna open that door. Now, this spider's just been messing about, I guess. Hey! You're not going nowhere, buddy. I don't know why that looked like a different color to me. What the heck? Snap. More money! Alright, into this door. Uh, I don't know why I keep typing these things. Alright, what's in here? Oh, that's great. Low. I'm like, why is it playing that music? Okay. Oh, that's fun. I remember this room. Out of here. Okay.
Very good. Now to solve a puzzle. A block-pushing puzzle. You know, classic Zelda. Classic 3D Zelda in specific. There's gonna be a bit of trial and error here. Okay. Seems it's gonna, probably gonna have to be a bit closer than that. Bingo! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, that can be a bit trial and error-ish. Since you, you, you sometimes get up on the thing and the, the top eye doesn't open or one of the other eyes doesn't open because you're too far to one side. But it's not too big of a problem. It's a fairly easy thing to deal with, really. Uh, now we head back this way. Not even certain how you can actually get over here. Well, we're definitely gonna need to find out, that's for certain. Uh, what? Okay, oh, I see. I'm not even really meant to get over here on foot. We're just supposed to send the beetle. Oh, I see. This is going to raise water level so that we can get... Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Why does he go underwater sometimes? What's the matter with you, Link? Oh, yeah! So apparently I was wrong when, we said it, when I said it. we weren't going to see a lot of that. I forgot that that's how you dealt with the spiders. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot the spiders existed. I really like the look of the wooden shield in this game, by the way. I really, really do. Okay, wow, so... Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Jesus! Frickin' man long jumped across the frickin' room, my god! Alright. There's another one over here. How you doing, bud? Okay, sorry about that. Get out of here. Okay, there's two taken out there. Oh, bruh. Come on. Can't believe I messed that up. Oh, come on, really? Twice? Okay. And now I'm just gonna send it once right down through here. Take out this one and that one. Bingo! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't talk about the times that I messed up. Yeah, those two times that I messed up, that never really happened. That was all in your imagination. I never mess up. That's a joke. I'm... I'm pretty good at Zelda games. Pretty good. At, l at least the 3D ones. The 2D ones are a different situation. Um, unless we're talking about A Link Between Worlds. But then again, I've played A Link Between Worlds like seven or eight times. I think I've played A Link Between Worlds like the most out of any Zelda game. Except for maybe Ocarina, because I've beaten o Ocarina quite a few times. Oh, dude, that was so close. Oh, God! There we go. Get out of my face. Okay, got my heart. And we continue on. Onwards to save Zelda. Zelda! Listen, bud. You don't want to do this. Get out of here. Adios, amigo! Have a nice flight! Okie dokie. Okay. 
that opens that. Which I believe this just leads into a shortcut to get back to here. Oh my god, wait a minute. Hold on one darn second. Hold on one darn tootin' second. Okay, that didn't work. There's nothing gonna be here, is there? Absolutely nothing! See money, more money, nothing. So, how the heck do I open this thing? Is the question of the hour. Maybe over here. I don't know, I'm just trying stuff at this point. Gotta be a switch in one of these things. Huh? Okay, wait, there's another one up here. Bruh! Leave me alone. I'm trying to figure out how to get this heart piece. You're not going up fast enough! No, it's just a freaking red rupee. What? Hold on a minute. There's something at the top of this. Is that what I'm actually looking for? Is there something at the top of this? Go on up there. Tell me what you see. Nope, I'm just back in here. Okay. Gotta be somewhere up here, dude. Yep, there it is. Oh, dude, if I get to the right right angle. Okay. That is totally how we open that. Okay. Come on. Come on! Shoot! Okay, that was pretty close. Oh boy. Nice. Okay, that's all I wanted. To get this heart piece. Oh yeah. Two more to go, baby. Two more to go. Alright, let's end this. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait a minute. That is most certainly not the way I need to go. Oh, gosh. Hey! Hey, dummy! Hey, dummy! Hey! Come on over! Come on! Stupid idiot! And that's why monsters are dumb and people are smart. <laughs> I could have gone on... Oh, man, wouldn't it have been cool if you could take out your sword in one of these things and have a sword battle with one of those things? That would have been cool. Dangerous, but cool. Okay, got a tiny wooden chest over here. What do we got? Money? I'll always take some money, man. Money's always good. Okay, we sprint across. Shut up, bird statue. Bruh, this link can really, uh... Oh, 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 that was kind of scary. Oh, boy. Oh! K 
Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh my god. Why? Oh god. Why did they have to make that such a difficult thing? Gosh. Okay. Here we go. Oh. oh my god, Link. Hold on. Stop. Right there. Oh, that is scary. Oh, that is some scary stuff. Okay. Done. Easy peasy. Okay. What, is that just meant to stay locked or something? That's odd. Whatever, not like it matters. We got the key. So yeah, the boss keys work slightly differently in this game because they wanted boss keys to have some sort of motion control thing to them. So of course, they added motion controlled boss keys. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute here. Just gotta line up the uh, the piece with the piece here. That was really easy. <laughs> I thought it was gonna take a little bit longer than that, but that was really easy. Wow. All right. So we've got our first boss coming up, and uh, this first boss will be a boss that we fight multiple times throughout this game. I believe a total of four times. Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequences. It's just the girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from a perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Demon Lord who presides over this land you look down upon, this world you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Giri. But I'm not fussy. Did you really just draw your sword, foolish boy? By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Still, it hardly seems fair, being of my position, to take all of my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. So here we go, the Demon Lord Girahim. 
Really quite a simple fight. Like, really, the man has kind of nothing going for him. I mean, really, all you need to do is kind of bait him where you're going to put your sword, so, like, not anymore. That's the first phase, is bait him where you're going to put your sword and then strike. Now it's this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Okay. Ow! Come on. Come on, man, really? You can also dodge them. You don't have to strike them. Ow! Dude, what is wrong with me today? Okay. There we go. It's kind of like a delayed strike is the problem. Okay. Ow! Had enough of your antics, my friend. Oh, shoot! Okay. I got it. Unless you get in a few more hits, too. That is very nice. Okay, that was really easy. I got hit a few times, but... Well, you put up more of a fight than I would have thought possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long testing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again. Get, w get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> Easy peasy. I was thinking of using my shield during those few, like, times that he rushed at me, but I wasn't exactly sure if I could actually block that or not. And I didn't want to risk shield durability. But you know what? I guess I had a potion for that anyway, so I could have. Heart container, baby. Increased life by one. I love how the, the heart container actually works in this game, where it fills your health, and then the, like, tink, the little new heart pops up. I love that. All right. Now we gotta run up. Okay. So, if you couldn't tell what we need to do, we kind of already did something very similar to this uh, when we got the goddess sword. So you just walk up here. Skyward Strike it. Just like last time. And this should give us another stone tablet, if I remember correctly. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you, the Chosen One, to carry out the Goddess's mission. The Spirit Maiden, who descended from the clouds, must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring.
This second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for this second sacred place. I need to sneeze. Anywhere there's a little second stone tablet that we gotta take back up the Skyloft. Yeah, the ruby tablet. Alright. Let's get a move on. Why did you go back into the sword just to come back out? Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here, from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. The bird statue that transports you back to the sky should be in the forest you previously passed through. Wait, do I have to walk all the way? Oh, no, it's just going to do that. Makes sense. Ah, oh, come on. Hey, it's me, Klee. Did you find the girl? Not yet. Oh, that's too bad. But it sounds like you at least know where you need to search next to find her, Klee. That's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you, Kweep. With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon. Kukuku, take care, okay? Thank you, game, for putting me right here so that I could just do this. And up and up we go! Back into the sky. And back on the loft wing. Come on, hold on. Master Link. When you hit the goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. You know what? Actually, let's let's do that. Um, might as well. So you got one here, and I only have one. Fantastic. It is a bit harder if you couldn't tell to actually see beams of light in the sky, just because of the way the game works and looks. I mean, it's still visible, but blue is definitely a difficult color to see sometimes. That is true. Oh, shoot. We're also going to have to buy a new shield. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Darn. Yeah. Okay. Wait, where's the front of this? Here we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's go see if that other one has one as well. Alright. Yo! Need ya! Alright. Here we go. Yeah, buddy! Speed is key. I love the th the theme for the sky in this game, too. Skyward Sword is a really good Zelda game, man. 
I know, like, how the reactions were when the game first came out, but man, this game is good. Okay, now I do have to... I don't remember exactly where the chest actually is. I'll tell you, it's not that one. Oh, is it just right there? Yeah, it's literally just right here. Okay. Nice. We're gonna get back on Skyloft and then we're gonna end the episode. Next episode, we'll put that thing in there. Oh, nice! That's actually very nice. Next episode, we'll grab our shield and head off to Elden and all that, but today we'll just get to Skyloft at least. Man. I was thinking, so you know how they're opening a Nintendo uh, world in, or, or in Universal, right? They've already opened one in the Universal in Los Angeles, and they already opened the one that's in um, in Japan. Obviously, that was the first one that came out. Still missing the one that's in Orlando, Florida. Um, I haven't gone to any of them yet. Like, I seriously need to go to one of them. Um, I probably, obviously, can't go to the one to this in Japan, but that's its own story, isn't it? Okay, let's go find a save point and then one of the episode. There should be one not too far from here, actually. I think right over this bridge, no? Yeah, I see it. Alright. So... We're going to end today's episode off here. If you enjoyed, well, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, smack that like, no, smack that bell icon so you get it notified when I make, when I make a new video. And uh, also, I, I'm not sure if I've said this, the official schedule for videos every single day at 5.30 p.m. EST. I do not know what that is in all other time zones. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why Google exists. Anyway, I'll see you all on the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD.